Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Tea Time with Mr. T. Now, normally, I know I have the music going, and I have George sitting by me, and occasionally one of our friends comes by. Today, I'm in a different place. I'm in our classroom, right? We've got some cleaning to do in here, and I thought, you know, it would be a good time to do a Tea Time with Mr. T. So even though I'm not in my normal setting, I've still got a cup. I can still raise my pinky and we can still come in for the clink. Okay, got a good good book for you today to share. Um, this one is part of a series that we've read uh, quite a bit of. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. Move you over just a smidge, there we go. Okay, this is Click Clack Quack to School by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lumi. It's one of, my, uh, one of my favorite series, the Click Clack ones. Click Clack Quack to School. On Monday, Duck brought a letter to Farmer Brown. Some of it was written in crayon. Dear Farmer Brown, please be our guest at the farm day lunch tomorrow. Bring the animals too. Love, Dinkelmeyer Elementary School. P.S. What is your favorite color? P.P.S. How old are you? P.P.P.S. We have a turtle. Farmer Brown was so excited. He had not been to school in a very, very, very long time. He must get the animals ready. We are going to school tomorrow, he told the cows. We must get ready. The cows had never been to school. They were so excited. They stomped and clomped and moo, moo, mooed. School is very quiet, said Farmer Brown. There is no clomping, no stomping, and no moo, moo, mooing. The cows were not so excited anymore. We are going to school tomorrow, Farmer Brown told the chickens. The chickens had never been to school. They were so excited. They clapped and snapped and cluck, cluck, clucked. School is very serious, said Farmer Brown. There is no clapping, no snapping, and no cluck, cluck, clucking. The chickens were not so excited anymore. Farmer Brown arrived at the pig pen. We are going to school tomorrow, he announced. The pigs had never been to school. They were so excited. They hooted and hollered and oink, oink, oinked. School is very calm, said Farmer Brown. There is no hooting, no hollering, and no oink, oink, oinking. The pigs were not so excited anymore. Farmer Brown arrived at the barn. Duck was meditating. We are going to school tomorrow, said Farmer Brown, and there will be no stomping, clomping, snapping, clapping, hooting, or hollering. Duck breathed in slowly and deeply. And try not to be so ducky, said Farmer Brown. Duck breathed out slowly and deeply. Farmer Brown handed out rule books, and the animals studied all night. No stomping, no clomping, no moo moo mooing, no clapping, no snapping, no cluck cluck clucking, no hooting, no hollering, no oink oink oinking. Don't be ducky. The next morning, they lined up quietly in front of the truck with no stomping, clomping, clapping, snapping, hooting, or hollering. Farmer Brown was so proud. They were quiet and still on the ride to school. 
The cows were not mooey. The chickens were not clucky. The pigs were not oinky. Duck breathed in slowly and deeply. Duck breathed out slowly and deeply. Farmer Brown was so proud. When they arrived, they got off the truck quietly and waited in the empty schoolyard. The school seemed quiet, serious, and calm. And then the bell rang for recess. The doors flew open and the yard was suddenly filled with wiggling and giggling, thunking and clunking, chirping and chattering, squeaking and squealing, and zooming and zigging. So the cows got mooey and stomp, clomp, stomped, and the chickens got clucky and clap, snap, clapped, and the pigs got oinky and hoot, hoot, hollered, and the mice read graphic novels in the shade. Inside the school, Duck was just Ducky. Be kind, be safe, be helpful, be honest, respect one another, don't eat the paste. Dear Farmer Brown, thank you for visiting our school. Alright, so boys and girls, did you enjoy that story? A couple questions, was this a fiction or non-fiction. Yeah, it was fiction, right? Because there was animals reading and, and, uh, and doing stuff that animals don't normally do, right? Now, a couple of other questions. Who are the characters in this story? Can you tell your adult? And what was the setting of this story? Or one of the settings? Where did it happen? And finally, what happened at the very beginning? What was Farmer Brown going around telling everybody? And what were the animals' reactions to his news? And finally, how did the story end? What happened at the very end of the story? All right, boys and girls, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tea time with Mr. T here at school. All right, we haven't been able to do this in a while. I thought it'd be kind of fun. You take care. Grab your cups. Pinkies up. And clink. We'll see you next time. Bye.